Today on our 2012 Dodge Journey, we're going to be test fitting the Swagman Titan 4 hitch mounted bike carrier, part number S63410. To mount our bike carrier to the vehicle, we'll insert the shank into the receiver tube on our hitch. We'll line up the hitch pin holes, feed our anti-rattle bolt in, and tighten it down. With that done, we'll take some clearance measurements. From the furthest point of the bumper to the closest point of our bike rack measures 10 inches of rear clearance. We've added an overall length of 21 inches to our vehicle, and we have 14 and 3 quarter inches of ground clearance from the bottom of the bike rack to the ground. Next, we'll check for rear vehicle access. We'll pull the release lever down at the bottom of the bike carrier to tilt it down. We'll open the hatch of our vehicle and make sure we can still have access to the cargo area. With that done, we can begin prepping to load our bike. We'll tilt the bike rack back up and we'll grab the switch at the top of the mast and open up our bike rack's arms. We'll undo the straps on the cradles and we'll fit our bike over the arms and into the cradles. We'll secure the bike using the straps. With that done, our bike is all loaded up and we're ready to hit the road. That does it for our test fit of the Swagman Titan 4 hitch mounted bike carrier, part number S63410 on our 2012 Dodge Journey.